hey y'all welcome back to the channel so today i'm back with a recipe video y'all ask for these all the time so i'm making some baked smothered pork chops here they are they were delicious so if y'all want to see how i did this stay tuned so to start i'm starting off with some freshly cleaned pork chops you always got to clean your meat i don't care what nobody say i clean my meat <laughs> but yeah i'm drying them off with just a paper towel and then i'm gonna get ready to prepare my seasonings For this recipe, I use basic seasonings. I use some seasoned salt, some garlic powder, some steak seasoning, onion powder, and I also use Tony's later on to make my gravy. Because two of the seasonings are primarily salty, I only go in lightly with these seasonings. I do not go full force with my hand. So the next step is to take a skillet of your choice. I'm using a cast iron skillet and I lightly added grease to this skillet. I use vegetable oil and I'm going to go ahead and sear the pork chops. this step you are not trying to cook the pork chops all the way through you are just simply searing them I do this a lot for slow cooked meats and especially crock pot foods because it locks in those juices um, so the meat doesn't dry out Once they have a nice color to them, a nice browning, I'm going to set them aside and then I'm going to get started on my gravy. Okay, to that same pan, I'm going to add some butter and this is going to be the start of my gravy. I'm going to saute those onions I just cut up and then I'm going to add some flour in with it get a nice little mixture and then add water. In this step, you wanna mix in some flour with the onions and you wanna 
all to get a nice brown color before you add your water. I choose onions all the time for my gravies because I feel like onions make everything taste better. I love onions. So I'm gonna do that until I start seeing a nice brown and then I'll start the rest of my gravy. Now that it's now a darker brown, I go ahead and add water slowly and I mix as I'm adding the water. And this is how you create the gravy. Once my gravy reaches this brown color, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my seasonings. Um, I'm gonna add in paprika, seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and some Tony seasoning, and mix that all together. Okay y'all, so the next step is to pour all that gravy over your pork chops in the baking dish and get ready to put them in the oven. This is how they look before they go in the oven and I'm gonna bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right y'all, it is all done. Here is how they look fresh out the oven. I paired it with some rice and just put that gravy over the rice and pork chops. These turned out great. I get tired of basic fried pork chops or basic baked pork chops. Switch it up a little bit and make them smother and it comes out wonderful. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give me a big thumbs up, comment, hit the bell to get my notifications and subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.